Okay, well hey there YouTube. Welcome back to a quick episode of Along for the Drive here. It's been not too long since my last one and that's because I'm guessing you're probably curious about what I did with that Bronco. Did I trade it in or am I keeping the truck? And as you can see right now, we are still in the truck, but that doesn't mean we didn't buy the Bronco. So it didn't give you a lot of sort of lead up to that video and didn't give you a lot of information as to what I was thinking, that kind of thing. So that was just the test drive, it was kind of spontaneous, like I said. And my sales guy knew I was interested in the Bronco, and I really thought I was interested in the Bronco. Um, I like the idea of kind of pulling the doors off and pulling the top off, and just opening that door on the other day, it was pretty, pretty cool. And I think, you know, on a day like today, where it's beautifully sunny like this, being able to open this up and get the sun in is fantastic. Definitely with it only being four degrees, I'm not trying to have the top open. Um, and driving, but that idea of doing that in the summer sounds pretty interesting. But I think I realized I'm just not a Bronco person. As much as I love the idea, and I really do, uh, a couple of things that with the Bronco that I was, was disappointed in, and, and that I think is why I decided to keep the truck. Uh, the whole idea behind doing the Bronco and, and the idea behind leasing, and I know that's a whole other sort of conversation. Some people believe that, oh, where's this person going? Why are we going that way when you're turning the other way? Sorry, it's kind of like they blocked me off from going around them. Apologize for that. The reason that uh, we're doing the leasing piece is because with the lease, you can keep your payments low. And then if you jump out of your lease, and maybe it's just with my dealership and because I know the guy, I jump out of my lease early, they can take the equity in my lease, the residual in the vehicle, and apply that to another vehicle to again drop the payments. So that was the idea behind the Bronco. We're almost two years into this three-year lease and it's about time to get out of it. But of course, right now what's happened is, um, we all know what the interest rates are sitting like up here in Canada, Ontario, and uh, things are changing. So the price of vehicles is up high as well. This truck right now, to replace this truck right now is another $13,000 now for the exact same truck. Uh, and that's just because of the dollar and because of what manufacturers are doing to refinery recoup some of the losses that they felt during COVID. But anyways, getting back to the Bronco piece here. So that was the idea behind the Bronco. So whether you like that idea or don't like the idea of leasing, that's irrelevant, that's what we were doing, that was the idea behind this, and it was because the idea, again, is to get to the electric, get to the lightning, that's the plan here, that's the ultimate goal. Haven't hit that goal yet. So the Bronco is kind of a, you know, there's an opportunity to try it, but I thought, let's take it for a drive and see, and I really thought I would like it. I mean, it sounds like a fun idea. I like the open air, bought the bike last summer, um, really love that idea, I love the sea on the water, so thought, you know, popping the top up, taking the doors off, that kind of thing could be a lot of fun. And you know what? It probably will be for those days that you pop the top off or take the doors off. It could, it'll be a lot of fun. But otherwise, I really was not pleased. The Bronco just didn't, didn't have the creature features of this truck, first of all. Uh, one of the big things that I really noticed was the noise. It had the soft top on it. Right now there's a difficulty with getting hard top. I'm not really sure how much quieter the hard top would be, but when I was just driving it back and forth to the dealership, I went back the next day, drove it again, brought it home to show my wife and stuff. When a car passed you, you felt like the car was inside your vehicle. It was like crazy how loud it was. And at first I thought I had something open, forgot to clip something, that sort of thing. That wasn't the case. It was just the rag top noise coming from the vehicle. And that was number one. Uh, number two, the size of it. In, you know, on specs, it's only eight inches narrower than this truck. But if you take eight inches out of this center console here, it does more than get rid of half of this center console. And that's what I was feeling. Everything seems to seem very in your face. The dash is very short. The windshield is very straight up and down. Um, everything is very close. And not that there wasn't enough leg room. There certainly was enough leg room and I sat in the front. And you saw in the last video, I sat in the back and I mean, didn't have a ton of leg room, not like the truck again, but had enough leg room to kind of get by. You know, it was, it was much smaller than the truck and I think I didn't think I was much of a truck guy, but going from this truck into that Bronco, I definitely was missing my truck. The quietness of the truck, the comfort of this truck, the 12 inch screen of this truck, even the size of the dash. The dash on the, like the instrument cluster here by the wheel on the Bronco was so very tiny. It wasn't giving you a lot of information and information again, maybe that I've just become used to and maybe not information you really need but it's certainly something that I enjoy and I appreciate kind of looking at, I guess, that I was missing in those few little drives. Uh, those were a couple things. It didn't have power seats. 
which isn't a huge deal breaker, but certainly it's a convenience. I do adjust this seat quite a bit when I'm driving long distances and there wasn't a lot of movement in that seat. It only had up and down and the, um, what do you call it, the lower back uh, piece in it as well and you could tilt it. The headrests sit very far forward as well, so I didn't think my wife was gonna like that. She didn't actually sit in the vehicle. She's like, it's your vehicle, you do what you want kind of thing. But also the, the windows, the frameless windows, I, I don't know, that, that just, I like some structure to the vehicle and the structure I think helps keep the vehicle quiet, which we're finding here. So, and it was lacking the storage space. Storage space was another big thing. I've come accustomed to the truck and I kind of have places for things because of the other jobs and things that I do. And I've got gloves that sit underneath the seat. I've got a couple tools that sit underneath the seat. I've got my swing out box in the back of the tailgate there that swings out, holds the trailer hitch and all my straps and stuff like that. And there wasn't a spot for any of that stuff in the Bronco. So not only did we lose overall storage, of course, because it's a smaller vehicle, considerably smaller. I did pull it in the garage at home when I brought it back the second time and it is quite a bit shorter, but you don't even have spaces for that kind of stuff which kind of you know I was like can I can I be okay with that you know not to mention all the other sort of things I would have to invest in one of them being a trailer um, I think I'd get my tools in the Bronco no problem for the small jobs but definitely not some of the bigger tools wouldn't be taking my miter saw in it there's no room for that um, so yeah I just I wasn't overall I wasn't really impressed with the Bronco I was kind of disappointed that I wasn't impressed because I was really thinking it would be a neat vehicle to go to and I was open to the idea. Yeah, I kind of hoped I would be more excited about it and initially I was excited about the idea but then getting behind the wheel and kind of driving it, I was uh, somewhat disappointed and I guess it's just not disappointed in the vehicle. I think if you're a Bronco person or a Jeep person, you like them for what they are. I think I was disappointed in realizing that that's just not me, unfortunately. It would be a great third vehicle if I wanted a third vehicle. But as a daily driver, I think I would be frustrated by it. I think the noise itself would be frustrating. Uh, I saw in another video that I watched the other day, uh, like I was talking about the stereo. The stereo in it is pretty bad. <laughs> okay, this does not have the B&O stereo system in it. It's got the XLT stereo system in it, and I like the way it sounds. That Bronco one sounded like a cheap speaker on a shelf somewhere. <laughs> it was really not very good, and I'm not a huge music person but I do like listening to music and I do like listening to music not necessarily loud but I like listening to music that sounds good and sounds well coming out of the speakers and when it doesn't sound well I don't like listening to it so that would have been a, a something that would have been tough to get used to as well uh, was the speaker system because it was pretty crappy I have to admit so that's something on Ford I don't know what they've done there um, in terms of speaker size or speaker manufacturer but you're definitely paying for the ability to pull that roof off, flip that roof back, and I love the way it flips back. It is so simple. Um, lift the doors off and kind of have that open air sort of beach kind of feel thing that uh, would be lots of fun in the summer days for those few days that you do it. Whereas I would probably drive like that, you know, every day back and forth to work maybe. I don't know. Um, would I not take my bike then? That was the other piece that I was thinking about, right? Like if I want to be open air, I'm gonna hop on the bike on a beautiful day and ride the bike to work. I'm not gonna jump in the truck or jump in the Bronco, I don't think. I mean, that would have been interesting to have tested as well. Not certainly something we can do now with the snow, but so anyways, long story short, cause that certainly is the long story, bit of maybe a Bronco review, depending on if you're looking for a Bronco. I like the creature comforts of the truck and the quietness of the truck, so I'm going to hang on to the truck. And depending on what happens in the next year, year and a half, he's going to keep his eyes open. But but I think I'm going to probably look at keeping it, keeping it for its entirety. If we can't flip in another one that looks very much like it, because I do love it, I love everything about it, and I think now I'm more of a truck guy than I am anything else, because I really don't want to be giving this up for the work I do and just for the way I like it, as much as it's a pain to sometimes park, I will get used to that to have the creature comforts that are in it. So that's what I know, that's what I'm saying. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Again, thanks for following along. Remember, we're trying to hit that uh, 500 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button so that uh, we can hit that 500 before I turn 51. 
because this is my 50th year, not on YouTube, obviously, but my 50th birthday year. So please do, and as always, enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the weather. I hope you're having a great March break. If you have a great March break, I hope you have a great March break, if you're on March break, I should say. And as always, this is Greg Sinti, here and along for the drive, along for the ride, saying see ya.